into the table, one of the biggest mistakes we make with the drill press is not clamping things down. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm guilty of that myself, but clamps are a pain to deal with due to the bottom of the drill press table being uneven. So after a few smacks on the hand, as my project spiraled out of control, I decided it was time to find a clamp for my drill press. If you've ever wondered what this crazy looking thing is used for, apparently it's used for your drill press. It's a drill press clamp. Quickly I found out how absolutely useless this thing is. The biggest problem with this is that it's such a pain to actually attach to your drill press. It has a long bolt on it and it takes a long time to get the nut into position. But as soon as you get it where you want, you find that you can't even attach it flush to your table, which means if it's jarred slightly, the entire thing fails. <laughs> I got smart and figured the nut just needed to fit into the groove before you spin the top and tighten it up. Duh, right? Except when I did that, it put the clamp off the table, making it useless. So, I don't know, I, I guess it's a matter of trial and error with how you thread the nut on, which will determine if it's going to be where you want it. But the other thing I, I hate about this was that due to its length, it made it difficult to maneuver and put it exactly where it helped me. So I came up with something a little different that I think really helps to fix my clamping problems with the drill press. Mm. Read him a week, boys. Royal flush. Mm. I don't think so, Bart. It's hard to beat a hand like this, ain't it? Come on back when you got more money, boys. Oh. <laughs>
Now it doesn't look like much, but this incredibly simple vise made with just a, a knob and a toggle bolt works really well at holding things down. Not only that, but it's simple to remove and it's small enough that I can hang it near the drill press and grab it quickly. It works really good at holding jigs down and opens the door to new jig possibilities. But at its core, it didn't do what I wanted to do, which really is to hold wood down. So let me show you a jig that works really well with this. So much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this and possible ideas that could work in conjunction with this. Now, if there are any problems you are looking for answers to in the workshop or problem solver jigs you'd like to see built, throw me a suggestion. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and follow me on Instagram at Make Things with Rob.